Good morning, it's Monday, August 10th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Empty Cistern, Empty Hearts, and our scripture is Genesis chapter 37. Sometime later, Reuben returned to get Joseph out of the cistern. When he discovered that Joseph was missing, he tore his clothes in grief. Then he went back to his brothers and lamented, The boy's gone. What will I do now? Then the brothers killed a young goat and dipped Joseph's robe in its blood. They sent the beautiful robe to their father with this message. Look at what we found. Doesn't this robe belong to your son? Their father recognized it immediately. Yes, he said, it's my son's robe. A wild animal must have eaten him. Joseph has clearly been torn to pieces. Then Jacob tore his clothes and dressed himself in burlap. He mourned deeply for his son for a long time. His family all tried to comfort him, but he refused to be comforted. I will go to my grave mourning for my son, he would say, and then he would weep. If it came to a trial, Joseph's brothers could have hired a lawyer who didn't have much of a conscience. At worst, they'd have gotten off with a slap on the wrist. Showing their father, Jacob, their brother's coat, dipped in goat's blood to look like a lion's napkin, and then allowing the father's grief to overwhelm the rest of his life was a master stroke of manipulation. They hadn't spoken untruth. Their breach of integrity was to let the truth lie unspoken, while the lie savagely destroyed their own father's heart. Technically, they hadn't lied, but the emptiness in Jacob's heart said otherwise. For you today, pain follows wherever truth is hidden. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road.